I bought this family celebration board for my wife a few years ago, and today I'm going to attempt to do it justice by adding our growing family's names into it. First thing we're going to do is select some wood. Um, in this little pile of cutoffs, I found a nice piece of air-dried walnut that has a little bit of color striation in it. Of course, as always, I forgot to measure it, so it's my obligatory run back to the house to measure. Three millimeters, run back. I get a lot of steps in during a project because I'm so forgetful, but uh, it's all part of it, and it was a beautiful day for a walk. So now we're back at the bandsaw. Cut it to size. That wood is awful pretty. I can't wait to use it. Uh, a couple of things through the drum sander and now I'm setting the height of the laser to get it nice and focused make sure it cuts right and then measuring the wood putting that alignment into the computer I use light burn for most of my laser work and now we're going to check the alignment on it first thing I do is align the wood make sure it lines up right and then I'm going to shut the frame off and then I'm going to make sure that the actual cut frame is lined up with the wood because I I want it to match have kind of some some of the sap wood in there to make it look nice and fancy and maybe match the other ones a little better and then the lasering I actually for this type of lasering I will do about 20 percent hotter than I would do for for just a basic engraving because I'm going to fill it up and we'll see that in a minute. I'm using Starbond Medium White, and I've already uh, filled most of them. You do several thin layers with accelerator between them, and this is just the final coat to get it looking nice and spiffy. And I found by using a uh, ice pick type of thing and swishing it around a little bit, I'm filling in the crevices. I didn't show it, but I'd spray it with you have to spray it with accelerator. Another shot through the drum sander and it came out pretty nice so now i can take the same piece of wood i just put it right back in the index that i've set up and uh we'll cut the circles and cut the circles the holes for the hooks and then i think it came out pretty good this uh display is made by amanda at at shop hour 25 on etsy and she does a fantastic job and I think I did a pretty good job of making it blend in and doing her gorgeous display justice.